What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's going to be an All My Pets tour for February. So yeah, let's get so into it. guys, in here are all of the, um, the T. Alba Plosum, uh, slings that I am, that I received for free last Sunday. I'm not going to show these because they're really, really tiny at the moment. So yeah, on to the next critter, on to the next critter. So guys, in this tub here, I have my Balfouri, which I separated um, from the rest of the group. So yeah, it's under this piece of cork bark, I'm not going to show you, you've probably all seen a Balfouri sting before. But yeah, it's a setup that I worked on, just whilst experimenting and I decided to put one of my Balfouris in here so yeah let's get into it let's get so into guys, it before I actually actually before I get into the uh, Balfouri Camino I just want to show you my La Fiodora Parahibana it's obviously just come out of a malt and look how yellow that is still Here's the malt here, obviously way too small to sex, but wow, that is so cool. On to the next critter. So here guys, I have the Balfouri Communal. Look how wiped it up it is from last time. They're great eaters, and they've malted already once with me. They're really cool. I got these in uh, C's. Southeast Direct Nucho, they're great. On to the GBB. The green Bottle Blues in here. Let me just turn it around. You can see it here. Let's do a bit of a leap. Uh, so there's the cricket. Um, let's see a bit of a leap it. I'll get, grab some tongs. Yeah, there we go. What a take. Beautiful tarantula as well. One of my dream species. So, yeah. I think that's about it for slings. On to the next tranche. In here, guys, I have my little kicker. This is my curly hair. A uh, true form. Great looking tea, but um, yeah, actually, I forgot about two slings. We'll get into them now. Here goes I have my Carabina Versa cover. You can just about see it there. Still a sling. Um, not much to update you with on these arboreals, but yeah, let's get in on to the next arboreal. Yeah. Species Katara. Um, once again, as I said, not much to update you with with these arboreals. But yeah, good looking tarantula. Let's get on to my final final two tarantulas. This here is my Brazilian black. Uh, looking quite chunky after um, its waxworm meal. Um, but looking very good. This was my second ever tarantula. I'm hoping it's a female. And yeah. Let's get on to my first ever tarantula. Now this one is definitely due a rehouse. This is my beautiful Brachypelma homori juvenile. It's my first ever tarantula. I got it from the Doncaster show in November. I am so happy with him. He is a male. We confirmed that with his last molt. Um, yeah, it's a shame, but what an absolutely stunning tarantula. Now, to show you some of my other invertebrates. Here are a gift from the legend uh, Sir Peter Webster. Uh, you can see two of them here. They're of course uh, Madagascar hissing cockroach nymphs. Nothing special. I'm sure you've probably seen them before. Uh, let's see if I can find the beetles. So this guys is of course my male uh, Dorcas Titanus. I'm holding him like this because as of a previous bite, uh, you can see how much damage they have done. 
but it's a beautiful beetle in here somewhere with the female probably not going to disturb her though uh, let's get on to Peter the scorpion so guys you've probably seen this guy before um, as he was in my latest video but he is such a good looking scorpion I got this one off of Invert Nation, uh, cost me 10 quid, beautiful, so um, yeah, let's get into some more reptiles and amphibians. So guys, this here is Shelly the Royal Python, she is a normal het uh, for Pied, but she was our first ever snake, great, beautiful animal. So tame. She's a bit fast, though, for a royal. Uh, but very, very pretty. Let's get on to the other snake, then. The Amazon tree boa. So, guys, here we have the Amazon tree boa. Absolutely beautiful animal. Uh, contrary to popular belief, they can be tamed down. As you can see here, no aggression whatsoever absolutely beautiful animal uh definitely worth buying if you're into arboreal snakes so that's both my snakes done let's get let's show the bearded dragon so guys this here is dotty uh juvenile bearded dragon very pretty looks like it might she might be in shed actually look at that weird but um Beautiful, beautiful animal, very tame. Uh, let's see if she wants to eat. It's going to be a little wax worm. She's already eaten today, so let's see what she thinks. Hmm. Will she take it from the tongs? There we go. So, next is the one, the only, Rango the Leopard Gecko. So guys, this is Rango. He's a Bell Albino Morph Leopard Gecko. He's going to be getting a massive upgrade in the future. And, yeah, I'm hoping to find a girlfriend for him pretty soon as well. But he's a beautiful looking gecko, as you can see. He's also got such a little character. He's one of my best friends. He was my first ever exotic pet. I well, actually had fish, but like my first reptile. Hello. Say hello to YouTube, Rango. Ah, I don't think he cares. Shows how much he thinks of me. You're ungrateful, you know that. <laughs> well, okay. On to Mango the Crested Gecko. So this here, guys, is Mango the Cresty. She is a tiny crested gecko, but they're absolutely great little animals. Fun fact about them, if they drop their tail, they will never be able to grow it back. But I don't think she feels inclined to drop her tail any time soon. She is absolutely beautiful. Um, they're also really, really rare in the wild, cresties are. But she's got beautiful eyelashes. On yeah, top guys, of. I have both my frogs. Uh, this is Jabba, the green one. And this is Don, the albino. He is rather picky. He only eats hoppers. Well, but this one is just your average Pac-Man. He will eat anything you give him. Including fingers. But, um, yeah, let's move on to the fish tank. Yeah, guys, it's my rather, um, overgrown planted tank. But I like it this way, it's more natural for all the fish. Absolutely great. Let's move on to the, the next tank. one. It has a few juvenile gut peas and a cherry shrimp. I need some dwarf hair grass for this, so I'm waiting for my local fish store to get that in. 
but um, the moss is doing well and it's doing pretty well. So these two are my dogs. Um, this is Mana, she's a 13 year old Collie Cross and this is Bella, she's a um, Black Labrador Cross Belgian Malinois. Uh, there'll be a video coming out on these two pretty soon, so um, tell me in the comments if you'd like to see that. Um, yeah. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, hit the subscribe button, um, hit the bell icon too if you want to be notified every time I upload. Um, yeah, and share the channel.